Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we will be diving deep into the fascinating world of the Blackburn Pendulum. The Blackburn Pendulum is a device for illustrating simple harmonic motion named after Hugh Blackburn who described it in 1844. It was first discussed by James Dean in 1815 and analyzed mathematically by Nathaniel Bowditch. In the same year, a bob is suspended from a string that hangs from a V-shaped pair of strings, allowing the pendulum to oscillate simultaneously in two perpendicular directions with different periods. As a result, the bob follows a path resembling a Lissajous curve and belongs to the family of mechanical devices known as harmonographs. In the 1870s, the term harmonograph is attested in connection with A.W. Duncan and devices built by Hugh Blackburn. The history of this device for demonstrating harmonic motion is traced and a biographical sketch of Hugh Blackburn who was a professor of mathematics at the University of Glasgow for 30 years is included. When set into motion, the Blackburn pendulum oscillates back and forth following a predictable path determined by the laws of physics. By carefully observing the pendulum's movements, scientists can calculate the gravitational acceleration in the specific location, providing valuable data for various research purposes. The precision and reliability of the Blackburn pendulum make it an essential tool for gravitational studies and geophysical research. The Blackburn pendulum has various applications in the field of physics. It is primarily used as a device for illustrating simple harmonic motion. The Blackburn pendulum has been used in the study of free fall of objects, determination of the gravitational constant and illustrating the relationship between weight and mass. Furthermore, it has been employed in experiments related to spark discharges and two-dimensional pendulum experiments, showcasing its versatility in various physics demonstration and research. In conclusion, the Blackburn pendulum remains a cornerstone in the field of gravitational research thanks to its innovative design and precise functionality. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.